Hello everyone, I'm Rick Durden for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. I'm here at Epic Aircraft Facility in Bend, Oregon to take a look at the newly developed Epic E1000 single engine turboprop. I'll be speaking with Mike Schrader about this airplane that is expected to reach production in the year 2015. This aircraft behind me is uh, all carbon fiber, uh, PT-6 uh, engine, 1200 horsepower, so it's a PT-667A. Uh, this, air, this aircraft will uh, climb at um, 4,000 foot a minute, cruise at 325 knots. Uh, we intend to certify it to 34,000 feet. Um, if you look at the, 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 the capability of this aircraft to climb, you're looking at uh, 15 to 16 minutes to 34,000 feet. The construction of the aircraft is all carbon fiber. Strength to weight ratio is uh, stronger than steel. Uh, we're excited about this product because it is all carbon fiber. Everything from the control surface, the wing, spars, uh, fuselage, uh, your cowling, all carbon fiber. Uh, so we've got an aircraft that has better longevity, easy to repair, service, and you can create uh, airfoils and uh, surfaces that are smooth and clean. So that's one of the nice things about uh, what we're building the aircraft out of. Uh, right now we're in, the, there again, like uh, the rest of our certification program, uh, we're building conforming parts. Uh, part of some, those parts that we're building in conjunction with that is parts for our conforming prototype. We look at having that completed by the end of the summer, but into 2000, uh, fall of 2014, and uh, we'll be flying test, beginning test flying at that time, test flight. The exciting thing about this program is this is the first time in my life I've been in a company that is fully funded. <laughs> Aviation, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, operates at the speed of cash. Our owners, investors have uh, come on board with us uh, with full funding, enthusiasm for the project, uh, fully intending to build it here in the United States. Right now we're currently looking at the beginning deliveries um, towards the end of 2015. Um, we, uh, we expect to have our certification done mid-2015 and then be deliveries to begin after, thereafter. We started out with the LT as a kit-built aircraft. Owner assist, they come to our facilities, build the aircraft. But we knew all along that we were going to certify this aircraft. So what, we, what we've done is basically the marching orders have been for management and, from, and the direction is certify what we have. This has been a very successful product. We have already have uh, already 46 of them out there flying. We'll finish up through serial number 54, our final aircraft, for the uh, amateur built aircraft. Um, and once that's done, uh, then we'll go full certification on everything with our plant. So we're looking at uh, uh, already starting on a successful platform in the form of the LT, moving it to the E-1000. Next, it was time for a flight around Scenic Bend with Chief Pilot Rich Finley in one of the owner-built LT aircraft. Rich, could you tell us a little bit about what performance you're seeing on the LT and is expected of the E-1000? I believe the E-1000 and the LT will be much the same, with the E-1000 climbing a little better. Flight level 280, we see about oh, 205 to 210 indicated, giving us around 310 true. At a very conservative uh, power setting, uh, delimited 706 degrees ITT, we'll see around 6% torque, uh, 52 gallons per hour in a normal cruise. Um, we can slow down and go much farther, around 270 knots at just under 40 gallons an hour. Most people uh, buy the airplane to buy time. They're looking for speed. Rich, what, uh, for somebody that's coming into the single engine turboprop from, let's say, a Cessna 182 or a 210, what sort of conversion would you expect? training is baseline for just that kind of pilot. About half of our owners are stepping up from a Bonanza or 210. Uh, we have some Malibu drivers in there as well. Um, and the other half uh, have varied experience. The 182 driver, of course, he's going to have to get a complex endorsement, high altitude, a few things like that. But the airplane is very straightforward. It, uh, it doesn't really have any bad behaviors. And so once they get over the intimidation factor of a slightly larger airplane, a larger feeling airplane, and of course, a generous amount of power, there really isn't much to it. Uh, obviously, they show me confidence well before they feel comfortable. If the insurance companies would allow, I would solo them after probably 10 landings in, in nearly all cases. 
uh, landing speeds are below what we see in a Baron. And, uh, and once they have the systems, they're used to the glass cockpit, it's, it's not a big transition uh, once they get to feel the airplane. For more information, go to epicaircraft.com.